Hello everyone. So this company, Ape Man, sent me this $57 dash cam to review. This is my first dash cam I've ever used, and so far I've been really happy with it. I've driven for about 8 to 10 hours, so I've put it through a kind of a healthy use. I also dropped it once and the screen kind of popped out, but I popped it right back in. But it, it hit the pavement pretty hard, so I really don't, don't think that's an issue. Now, a few things I've noticed right away that I like is there is a USB port on the charger block, so you can charge your phone or whatnot while using the camera has a standard stick-on adapter and I just realized that this piece broke because my kids have been playing with this on the desk and of course they took the screw out of this. Now I know what that little screw that was laying on the desk and I was not sure where it came from came from. So I'll have to fix that so, so you can see, tell it's kind of falling apart but that's not really, really an issue. This sticks on perfectly you just rotate it and it sticks onto the window. I've had no issue with this at all. It hasn't fallen off once. I recommend kind of putting a little, maybe even a little bit of water, just so if you have like a bottle of water, just wet this a little bit, so that way when it sticks on, it, it's kind of extra firm. Now, another thing is the cord for the charging is about 10 feet long, which is awesome. You don't want to skimp on the cord. This tool, I wasn't even sure what it was at first, but it's to kind of pry back your dash so you can get the cord in a nice, neat fashion around if you want. And it comes with a standard micro USB cable to connect to your computer. Also, just to note, you do need to buy a micro SD card, so be sure you do that. Now, literally, one of the only things I don't like is that the charger is kind of right near the mount here. It's just, it's, it's a little awkward, but it's fine. So you, the way the mount works, you just simply slide it right. And you want to make sure you slide it well. If you don't kind of click it in, it'll just slide in a little bit. And when you're driving, it will fall out, which happened to me once. But obviously, that's my error. This is another reason why I don't like this plug here is because when you're trying to remove it, you're trying to slide it back and yes, I could remove this charger, but I prefer to, I just don't want to slide it and damage the charger by accident. Now, to the camera itself, it's super easy to use. Like, you don't need any, you don't need anything. Anyone who's never used a camera in their life can have this set up. The way it works is when the car turns on, it gets power and it starts recording automatically. So you literally have to do nothing. However, what is nice is the camera does have a battery inside. Hopefully it's not dead now. Come on. Is it really dead? Come on. All right, the kids have been playing with it for quite a bit, so it is dead. Now, if you go through the settings, you can go to setup, and here you have camera settings or system settings. So if we go to camera settings, we have resolution, megapixels, three minute recording loop, audio, motion detection, gravity sensor, parking guard, headlight warning, WDR. And if we go back, we go to system settings. So you have power off timer, screen saver, beep sound, startup sound, language, frequency, IR lights, GPS, speed limit, date, Timestamp, license plate, license plate number, format the memory card, make settings default, and shows the version of the camera as well. That literally is it. I just want to show how simple this device really is. Literally, all you do, just tap this button. In the top left corner here, you can see red, which means it's recording. If you stop it, it creates an automatic three minute loop. Press it again, it starts recording again. It's that simple. Anyone can use this device. But I just want to point out that it has this feature where it is just a standard video camera for a little while, and it has probably time to record 15 to 25 minutes of video on battery. This also goes with the feature where if you bump the car or it senses motion, it can start recording automatically. But just the fact that this is a simple camera that records fairly good video is pretty cool because if you get into some, some sort of situation and you just want to get out of your car and use this as a camera to point or show whatever you need, it, it works perfectly and I, I think that's kind of a bonus. Another thing is, basically you can set, for example, I have it set, it records in three minute loops. So if you press the record button, it stops and if you press it again, it records again. So it will capture that last three minutes that you stop from. So say if someone hits something or you see an accident in front of you, you stop record and you start. This creates a three-minute loop of your last recording that is saved. 
has the camera obviously if you're not familiar with these the record, camera records on a loop over the memory card so if you do not stop the recording ever it will record over the footage that you took before so if you want to make sure the footage is saved you want to stop it and then start it again this will ensure the camera essentially saves that one piece of footage and con continues recording the only uh, other kind of I'm not sure if I like or dislike this, but to turn on the infrared lights, you need to set, you need to set up for so for them to turn on at a certain time. So, for example, at seven o'clock at night, they'll turn off, and at seven in the morning, they will turn off. This is a little odd because obviously time changes and it might not be completely dark. But I found the video quality to be pretty good without the IR sensors, and with the IR sensors, it's a little better. But there can also be some some issues. For example, de depending on how you place it, for example, the IR can reflect off your windshield and kind of screw up the video. So you want to make sure when you start it up that the camera can see properly. Other than that, settings are super simple. Like I said, you can adjust the record time of a, with the loop. Um, you can adjust bump detection. You can adjust GPS. You can it's just like it's super simple little like i like to say it's pretty much you take this out of the box scroll through the four or five different settings set the time set the date and you're good to go i have used this for eight to ten hours it's been working perfectly the image quality it might not be like one of those fancy new 4k cameras where you can read the license plate from 100 feet away or something like that but even that i'm not sure how that works because there's reflections there's light there's bl being blinded there's just seeing through your car window, is it dirty or clean? So there's a lot of factors to being able to read a license plate. And I, and I do think in, an, in a nice day environment, you should be able to read a license plate without too much issue. But as the car kind of gets 40 or 50 feet away, you, I don't think you'll be able to see it. But this really doesn't matter. You're, you're trying to capture the situation. I think the field of view is good. The quality is good. Even at night, it's good. It works. It's easy to use. The cable is long. It's just... It sits there, and, and like I said, you can. Excuse me. You can pick this up and just use it as a standard camera, and that just really for fifty-seven, fifty-six bucks. I think this is a total home run. If someone has never had a webcam and a dash cam, and they just you just don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want to have something that works. I think this is absolutely perfect. It's just. Also, it records audio, just so you know, so for your, anything that goes on, if there's some sort of improper language or something is being said in the car it will be recorded and all you have to do is press the stop record and start record button to make sure it's 100 percent saved but if you get like a 32 gig card or larger the amount of recorded data on this will just be ridiculous you could probably record a whole eight hour drive on like a 64 gig card or something like this so it doesn't use up that much data so it says here it has a sony lens super night vision Sony CMOS sensor, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm using a Sony camera, a, an A6300 to record this right now. But overall, when I was about to receive this product, I saw it was 57 bucks. I was kind of like, I wonder if this is going to be kind of a piece of junk. I just want to say this camera is awesome. Check it out. Get it. It's cheap. It works. It's awesome. You don't have to go look around, compare every product, spend three times more money. It's cheap and it works. If you have, don't have a dash cam, there's Almost no excuse not to have one at this point. So check out some of the footage I shot. I hope you like it. Fucking what are you doing?